Africa Rise Ghana celebrates First National Rice Festival. Reflecting the growing importance of the rice sector in Ghana, the First National Rice Festival was held in Ghana's capital Accra from 7 to 9 November 2012 by the Ghana Rice and her professional body called GRIB under the theme, Growing a Vibrant Rice Industry, through Public-Private Partnership for Food Security. The celebration unfolded with a pageantry of traditional drums, songs, and dances. It showcased a wide range of high-quality local rice, as well as traditional and innovative dishes with rice, prepared and served by the best chefs in Accra at the event. But if we can use uh, the foreign rice to prepare local dishes here. Why can't we also use the, the local rice to prepare international dishes? So that what you are saying is the, 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 the French bread, the using the local uh, rice. The aim of the rice festival was to bolster support for the local rice industry through public-private partnership and highlight the importance of the rice sector for increasing food security, reducing poverty, and creating employment in the country. The festival emphasized the need to shift urban consumers' preference from imported rice towards quality Ghanaian rice, as this would result in an increase in market incentives for local rice producers and processors. It included capacity building programs to strengthen their capacity for managing rice farming as a profitable business. The event coincided with the 8th General Assembly of GRIB, which is an association of rice farmers, millers, processors, agrochemical input dealers and traders. Currently GRIB has about 10,000 members. Rice has become an important staple in Ghana particularly in cities and towns, and its consumption continues to increase with population growth, urbanization, and shift in consumer preferences. However, the country's rice self-sufficiency ratio is about 30%, leaving a shortfall of 70%. Ghana currently spends about US$450 million annually on rice imports to meet the demand. The quality of imported rice is considered much better than that of locally produced rice, and urban consumers do not patronize local rice because of poor post-harvest handling and a general perception of poor quality. Underlining the efforts made by GRIB and its partners to increase rice production and quality, GRIB President Mr. Amoro Amaro said. As you see, Ghana has the potential to produce a lot of rice. We have water, we have good land, very suitable land for rice. And uh, we realize that if we don't play team, there's no teamwork, it's not possible that we can be able to feed ourselves in this particular area. Uh, we realize that if we don't promote the local rice because of the perception that uh, the local rice and the foreign rice is much better, the, right, the industry will grow and the patronage by the citizens wouldn't be that much. So this fair is to create the awareness, expose the citizens to the quality that we are now producing, which is as good as the imported rice and even better because it's fresh and uh, it's free of pesticides. And we believe that as an organization of uh, rice value chain stakeholders, this we should be at the forefront of it. And uh, particularly, we want the research areas that we are very keen about is agronomic practices. Uh, seed. Seed is one of our crucial uh, issues. Yes, and uh, we realize that uh, because of uh, re uh, re recycling of all seeds, our uh, yields continue uh, diminishing. Uh, the seed industry here needs some boost and uh, we are seeing that as uh, a stakeholder group we must be able to develop the capacity later in some time to be able to have people who their business will be producing this sort of uh, uh, products like seeds and of course providing services which relate to the industry. Mr. Amoro Amaro cited the example of improved parboiler technology developed by the Food Research Institute, Council for Scientific and Industrial Research in Ghana, that was successfully imparted to women parboiler groups through GRIB. Uh, 
Mofa brought us vessels, but they are not enough. So some use pots, the metal pots. Some use that one They're because the vessels are not many. If there is a big demand, it means that there is a, a, an, a government institution called Gratis that has regional centers all over. They have centers in all the regions. We intend to collaborate with them. The Rice Festival brought together representatives of rice stakeholders, including farmers, millers, processors, and traders as well as development agencies, national and international research organizations and donors. It was inaugurated by the 2012 National Best Farmer Mr. Lamuel Kwashi Marty of Mana Farms Limited. And when you look at where my farm is for instance, my, my, my place is just like a farm in the city. Development has catch up with the place so I have a whole lot of houses around my place and a farm of about 250 acres is covered with houses. So where do you expand to? When we talk of storage, the local, the foreign rice, sometimes you can store it for a very long time. When you come to the local rice, sometimes those are the small, small challenges. So we are praying we should get dryers that will enable us to dry our rice to the required temperature, reduce the moisture content, so that we can also maybe keep it for a very long time. And then we can even keep it to wait. From, we can even create hoarding so that prices will shoot up and then we'll start selling at a good price. Dr. John Manfall, a Ghanaian national from Africa Rice, Benin commented. The good thing about grape and how it would fit into Africa Rice's um, future interventions in Ghana is that um, as we develop and bring into fruition our rice sector development hubs, Africa Rice would interface with grape in these hubs and all the ideas that uh, we try to develop and extend would be taken up by various uh, group members um, along the line. So although as of today there are no um, formal links between um, Africa Rice and the Ghana Rice Interprofessional Body or GRIP in Ghana, I can see it coming within the next um, few months as our rice sector development hub in Ghana in particular begins to take shape. For more information, visit www.africarice.org.